and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have a very, very exciting video. Now, I just want to say that this year has been a phenomenal year for thrifting. Now for those of you who don't know, and I don't know if this is just a pure coincidence, but I moved um, from Ontario to um, the East Coast in Canada and I now live in a capital city, but it's smaller than what I lived in before. So it's it's interesting. So I don't know if that's affecting the like, quality of my thrift finds because my mom hasn't been able to find anything at thrift stores at all. She hasn't had that very much success at all, but I've had amazing success. Me and my mom were at the grocery store and we had to drop off some donations at Valley Village. And I was like, mom, I gotta run in there cause I'm gonna find an American girl. And she was, I'm kidding, but I'm like, I need to run in there. I have, a, like, I'm gonna find an American girl. And she was like, uh, okay. And I'm like, okay, can I run in while you're dropping off the donations and see if I can find an American girl? And I found an American girl. So trust those gut feelings. I was totally on a high because I was just like, oh my God, I found another American girl doll at the thrift store and she was $3.99. Anyways, we're gonna save that towards the end. And we're gonna show you the other doll things that I've gotten. This is a combination of the last two thrift trips that I've done. So first I got these cute little dolls here. My first thought was uh, Elsa and Anna from Frozen and they're the perfect size for like mini dolls for my uh, two Pioneer Girls, um, Kirsten and Marta. Now they're both from Kirsten Stories and both of them are from Sweden, so I thought they would have little dolls like this and I forget how much these ones were, maybe like $5, maybe not even. But as you can tell, this is just kind of the size. So this is Marta here in her Pioneer Christmas outfit and then this is her little doll. So that'd be really cool. I did already have a, like, like a rag doll for them that um, I found at a thrift store, but um, we, I've had for years but now they have some more dolls, which is so cute because you can never have enough mini dolls for your dolls. Next were two American Girl books. I got this one, Leah, which I haven't had the second Leah book, so I thought I would get it because I collect the American Girl like story books. So like any historical or character, I collect the books because this is kind of like the lore and all the background and it's great reference um, to have them. And I'm trying to read through them, but it takes time. Then I saw this book, I saw the American Girl logo at the top, and I was like, oh, I need that. <laughs> and then I'm like, why don't I get it? Even if it's for, it's for kids, but it's A Smart Girl's Guide to Liking Herself. Um, I saw this book a few times, and I was like, maybe I should get it and do a video on it and see if it's actually helpful for an adult. Um, and so I thought, you know what, for a couple bucks, I think it was like 150 or something. So it was really cheap, and I'm thinking about doing, reading it and then doing a video to see if I actually found it helpful. Next we have, I totally forgot to check the inside to see if there's anything hidden in this bag. But yeah, this is a Maple Leaf Girl carrier bag, which I wanted as a kid, um, but I only, I usually had multiple dolls, so I, I just carrying one doll made me sad because I wanted to carry them all with me. But um, when I first saw this, I grabbed it and realized that it was super heavy. And I opened it up and somebody had stashed a whole bunch of clothes and a whole bunch of items in this backpack and kind of like hidden it within the other backpacks. And if you work retail like I do, you know what somebody was trying to do. They were trying to shove the backpack with stuff and then run out of the store with this bag full of things. Or, or the way it works is one person fills it up with stuff, they drop it off somewhere, somebody else comes and grabs it and runs out of the store with it. If I was at work, I would have gotten like a reward and a little bonus for finding this, um, but I wasn't at work, this was at Valley Village, I don't work there, so I didn't get a reward. I did point it out to the employees and I'm like, but I do really want the bag, so can you give me the bag? And they gave it to me for $3.49, which I think might have been a little discount for pointing out that somebody had shoved a whole bunch of stuff in it, which is nice. Uh, but then again, it's not in the perfect condition, so maybe this is accurate. They Again, normally I see bags for like six, seven dollars. So giving it to me for three dollars is pretty good. But yeah, I'm gonna just open it quickly to see if there's any accessories or anything hidden. 
There's lots of different places for accessories in here. That's really cool. It doesn't look like there's any Maple Leaf Girl goodies in here, but that's okay. I think this is where you put like the hair stuff and then you put the doll in here and then there's different pouches. So yeah, this would be really good if I'm carrying my dolls like when I go on little day trips to Green Gables and I bring my doll. This would be so useful for that and Maple Leaf Girl is one of the doll brands that I do collect. These next dolls, so I have a doll coming in the mail and I'm not gonna tell you what it is, um, it is an American Girl doll. It's from the American Girl brand, but I was able to find it on eBay for really cheap. So I have a certain type of doll that's coming very soon. Um, nothing that I've collected before, but they're really popular on Instagram. So I had to get some outfits for this doll. And maybe you can leave a guess in the comments what it is. Okay, so this doll is really creepy, um, but I wanted the outfit. I don't even know if this is like supposed to be a nice doll or even if this is supposed to be a Halloween haunted doll because she's like this almost like glow in the dark skin and this is her hair. Like, like the hair is very 70s and she's wearing this nightgown. The skirt kind of fell off. And I just liked it because it has this little bonnet and this little um, little dress here. So that will be really cute for the doll that's coming in the mail. Next is another outfit for that doll, um, which is just this little Anna Green Gables doll with these little socks. And I think this dress will fit. Um, but yeah, this just this little Anna Green Gables outfit, which you can find so many Anna Green Gables dolls where I live. Because again, I live on the East Coast of Canada, so. Oh my God, I was just sitting here and you know the sound of your doll like blinking or closing its eyes? That's just what I heard right now. And you can find Anna Green Gables dolls, like half of the dolls are Anna Green Gables dolls at the thrift store. Next we have this bag and in it is a Rainbow High doll, which I already have this Rainbow High doll and that, oh, the dress got caught. So it was $6 for this doll and it came with the Barbie doll too, but it is Daphne Minton. Now I already have Daphne Minton, but Daphne Minton is one of my favorite Rainbow High dolls. Oh, she needs some work with her hair, like look at that. So Daphne Minton is one of my favorite Rainbow High dolls, so I'm glad to have a second one so she can maybe wear the second outfit or maybe I could do a restyling. I don't know, I thought for $6 I just grabbed it because this is the first time I've seen a Rainbow High doll at the thrift store. I know, some people are saying they find them all the time, but I haven't personally. And then this chopped off hair Barbie. All right, so now I adjusted my camera just so I could sit a little bit more comfortably. And I'm gonna be showing you the American Girl that I found at the thrift store. First, I'm gonna show you the other three dolls that I got this year to show you how much of a role I am with the American Girls. So, very first, I found this Hearts for Hearts doll. If you don't know what Hearts for Hearts it is, it's a Welly Wisher size doll and they're so cute. They're a little, they're like higher quality than like, other doll brands and they're more expensive. I wanted one of these dolls when I was a kid, but I think they were like discontinued or you couldn't get them in Canada, something like that. I still think that you can't get them in Canada. Somebody said they're not discontinued, but like I can't find them anywhere. That was in like June, July of this year. I moved here in June, so it was pretty early on. Then I got Clara, my Maple Leaf girl here, and I had to just buy her a new wig. Again, I got her for like six bucks, I think. And um, she is one of my favorites. She's a girly girl in my collection. And I got her, I believe in August. Yeah, I got her the same day that I had an interview. So yeah, I got her and I was really excited about that. And her hair was badly cut. Then I got an official in American Girl 18 inch doll in October. Her name is Diana after the Anna Green Gables. Um, so cute. I'm thinking about keeping her a wig. I don't know. I was going to give her a black curly wig um, so she could be more like Diana. But this wig is so cute. So maybe I'll get another doll. I don't know. I really wanted a Jess face mold for my Diana doll. So for now, she is Diana and she's another little Victorian girl. Yeah, that's the dolls I have found so far since literally since June. To show you what I got today in December, I got a Willa, a Willa, well, I got a Willa and Willa is interesting. So I didn't find her with any clothes, but I just put some clothes on her because it's really cold. So she needed to wear something, but I got her for $3.99. And as you can see, her hair is badly cut. I got my other Welly Wisher, Ashlyn from a thrift store for $2.99. Um, 
and her hair is not cut. She was like in perfect condition and she came with an official official Welly Wisher outfit. And I got her just when I started getting back into collecting American Girl in like 2020. Yeah, 2020 is when I got her. So such a cute doll. I love her so much. And I always said that I wish I had a Willa because Willa was like my favorite. I said that these are both my favorite. I love both of them. So I was so glad I got her because she was one of my favorites. But Willa is like, they're both my favorite Willy Wishers and I happened to both find them. Um, this doll was featured in, I think last year's dolls that I want for 2020 or 2022. Um, one of those videos, I said that I wanted this doll on this channel and I found her. Her hair is badly cut and she kind of reminds me of what Clara look, used to look like when I um, first found her. But I thought, oh, I'll just re-wig her. But I've been doing a little research and I'm kind of struggling to find a wig for her. So if you have any um, places that I can find a wig for around $20, $30, I would really appreciate that. Or if I can somehow modify um, wigs for 18 inch dolls and you know modify them somehow for 18 inch dolls or sorry 14 inch dolls like Willy Wishers make sure to leave that in the comments or if there's a video on that I make sure to link that too. He said she didn't have any clothes with her so what I do to get historical Welly Wisher outfits is I get porcelain dolls and I take their outfits and put them on the Welly Wishers. So these are the two outfits I got today. Um, this one I really liked because it came with these black boots and this white apron dress, which will look so cute um, with other outfits. And then this green plaid, which would be great for Christmas. I feel bad for destroying this one because on the little stand, I don't know if you can see, it says Emily of New Moon, which is um, an Anna, or not Anna Green Gables, Lucy Maud Montgomery story. So the same person who wrote Anna Green Gables, she wrote another series called Emily of New Moon, and that does have a television series too, but it's not as popular as Anna Green Gables or Road to Avonlea, which is based off of the Story Girl books. So it's not like the most popular, but people know what it is. So I feel bad for taking her apart but she is really damaged on her face. Next we have this doll, and I don't know if she's supposed to be Anne or if she's just Anne inspired, cause she has this little jump rope, which I don't really know if that has anything to do with Anna Green Gable, but she has this little hat, which I don't know if we can take off. It's probably gonna ruin the wig, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, the wig is even, I was thinking of taking off her wig and putting it on Ashlyn, but I don't know if her head is big enough. Um, yeah, I don't think her head is big enough. But yeah, these are the shoes and this little green outfit there. And she was $5 and Emily of New Moon was $5 as well. Yeah, so this is what she looks like. <gasps> know what I might call her? Maybe she'll be Jenny and she'll be Bridget from Nellie and Samantha's stories. Or I, w I have to look at the books again, but maybe, I know one of them has red hair. I don't know if it's Bridget or if it's Jenny, and maybe this will be Jenny and this will be Bridget, or however it goes. Because she looks so cute in these little Victorian outfits. Oh, so excited. And this is very Christmassy and absolutely so, so cute. So yeah, that's my video on finding an American girl at a thrift store again. And again, remember, I don't live in America, so th I should this shouldn't be happening, but it is happening. And it's absolutely amazing. So um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys another day. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>